Yes. We're on. And I'm going to invite Victor. Hey, Agur Yoga. Good to see you here. So I'm taking place here in my home office, showing you around, and we'll be hosting a beautiful new life today. And I'm waiting for um, this really special soul to come on. Hey, Victorious. Victor. We're just waiting for everybody to hop on and checking if Victor finds this button to hop on as well. I have sent you a message. I think you should get it now. Yes, there he is. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Feline, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you, Victor. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. So honored to be here with you. Um, well, the pleasure is <laughs> all mine to have you here on a, with us. And um, I would love to give you this introduction, but maybe if it's okay with you, just we, let's wait like like for about one minute just to have everybody uh, hop on yeah and uh, i'm gonna make sure that i um i get this uh extra um uh, how do you call that uh recorder on to maybe record our interview as well in a different way is that okay with you yeah of course uh, but i think normally when you go live um ig actually like you can actually have the recording and then save it or something right Yes, you can. Um, and I was actually hoping to find on my laptop that I have here. Um, I was hoping to find this, how do you call that? This, this audio recording thing. I, uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. So you're actually doing this through your, uh, uh, your, um, your computer. No, no, we're on, we're on the phone, but I was just, it, it's, it's just an extra, but uh, it's not necessary. I, and you're totally right. We'll, we'll be saving this and it's, it's going to be amazing. So I'm so happy to have you here and <laughs> I, won't, I won't be distracted. It was just a really short thought. No, that but, I might do, be. but go ahead. I, I like the idea because actually um, I also have some people from my end who are like, hey, I'm like, like I have a friend who is like in Hawaii and it's like, yeah, at this time I'm going to be working. So I was like, hey, yeah. don't worry, because I think we're going to have a recording or something. So, uh, yeah. Oh, cool. That's yeah. so good. All right. Well, then then it is good to record it in all <laughs> ways possible. Um, let's see if I have this here on the laptop. Um, I'm not sure if we have it here, but we could try. Or maybe you have it there. But... Um, uh, so yeah, I'm it's just not my... necessary. Yeah, but I, I think it. I think I think we're good. You found it? Yes, I found okay, it. Cool. Voice, cool. Voice recorder is called. Yeah, voice recorder. Okay, cool. All right, cool. It took a, it took a while, but we're here, <laughs> and now everybody was able to hop on and hop off again. Everything's yeah, it's, fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. Um, <laughs> Welcome everybody, by the way. <laughs> yes. Welcome. Thanks for being here. And um, yeah. ready to uh, to give you this beautiful welcome, hopefully. And yeah, I don't. I don't know if it was just on my end, but for a second I could not hear you anymore. But oh, I can hear right. you now. Well, you hear me now? Okay, good. Yeah, I can see and hear you clear as well over here. Okay, cool. Um, so I've I've uh, re started recording as well, and um, I see some hearts coming on when people come in here. So 
I would just love to start if you're ready. Um, ready. Hey, are you there? What happened? Am I back? You are back. I can hear and see you. I was doing all this bio and sharing everything. And then suddenly I didn't see you anymore. Yeah, because all of a sudden, like, um, I couldn't hear you, like, everything just cut off, like... Oh, no! I'm so sorry for everyone no, and okay. for you. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's do that again. I was, um, I was trying to, to give you this warm welcome and sharing how we got to know each other and oh. how glad I am to have you <laughs> in uh, my life and having met you. Uh, we know each other now as uh, well. I would say you're you're a good friend, and we even call each other brother and sister from this quantum leap family. A yes. beautiful group of people that we got to meet um, at the same time. Hey, there you are out again. <laughs> oh, Victor is is here trying to hop on, but for some reason, also hopping out every now and then. Um, hey, are you okay, Victor? Thank you, everyone, for, for watching. This is also part of these lives every now and then there are some technical issues and um that's just part of life we are here uh, with victor coming on he's he's going to help us and help you give a beautiful class a breathwork class and um i'm trying to invite him again we've been on and off and on and off since five o'clock um, so this might be a bit of a rough ride for the ones watching and okay. here he is again <laughs> yeah wow this uh it's it's looking like uh, it's gonna be a tough one <laughs> it is yeah. well I, I i was just saying like okay this happens this also is part of life right sometimes yeah, definitely. We're we all just here deal with it. and we deal with it and it's it's just some technical bits that sometimes happen yeah but I think we're good now, yeah, because um, I think everything is synchronized. So, uh, yeah. It looks as if we're good now. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. hope we are. Um, what I wanted to do was give you this beautiful uh, introduction, but maybe I should just do it from the heart right now. And, um, yeah. and that's will, that will probably be best, me not clicking anywhere let's just dive <laughs> my hands are like go back i'm not touching anything anymore so uh, what's up stefan yeah the, uh, 
my nomad friend Stefan uh, is here with us. Uh, it's also a very beautiful soul. Thank you for joining. Wow, oh, that's so good. Hey, it's so nice for everybody that is hopping on, and there probably a lot of people will watch this also yeah. after today. But that's that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. um, as I was saying, I know you now. You're a good friend of mine, and uh, we we've met at this beautiful beautiful course. It's called um, well the whole program was called quantum leap and quantum leap. we actually created this beautiful group together being calling each other family even that was the beautiful part of this friendship quantum leap, yeah. <laughs> and it really well you you speak a lot about elevation and, and lifting people higher and that is actually what it has done for me as well I, that program was amazing yes. um I would love to hear a bit from you maybe on how it helped you in your business. And I would love to dive into all of your wisdom. And <laughs> oh, um, thank you. You honor me. Yeah. yeah so for me. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I just ahead. wanted to say um, uh, that you are, you are a super, super skilled um, entrepreneur, super conscious being really conscious soul. Um, and um, I really see you as, uh, as somebody that is, has such a big heart and has such a, a you know, loads of love to, to share with all the people around you and uh, you know you have so many businesses you're you're like a serial entrepreneur and you have businesses regarding your dancing and classes and and all this physical stuff but you also have more of the breath work and the mindset and and all of that is also something that you're really good at and then there's also the the trading part and the financial stuff so you're like a multi multi <laughs> um and it's amazing it's amazing to like may to be able to grow with multi potentials like it's 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 awesome to see you do that and um yeah maybe you would like to kind of share on how how you've been growing ever since Quantum Leap and what is going on for you now and uh, what, what are your newest goals? Yeah, thank you. First of all, I would like to thank you for uh, the honorings. And uh, yes, I, I tend to be a 360 person, uh, which basically means like uh, I love like doing multiple things because um, there is, I just have this programming within myself that I feel like, mm -hmm. Um, we as a human being, or let me just speak from the self, like I, I have this feeling uh, or this knowing that I can do anything if I put my head into it, you know. So I don't see myself as a, a dancer or a business owner or a worker. I, I see myself as everything. So yeah. what any, anything that anybody puts it, his uh, heart into it, like, you know, you can accelerate and you can like really go deep into it. So for me, life is about experience and I just like um, experimenting with different things. And this mm -hmm. is how I find, I found, I found out that like, hey, there are multiple stuff in life that actually like piques my interest and that like actually makes my heart like warmer. And mm -hmm. um, so a very, very big turning point in my life, of course, as you said, was Quantum Leap. Because uh, during the Quantum Leap uh, event, well, prior to that, just the MMI event, that's where everything actually really, really started like to take a shift. That's where Big Mo came in, like the big momentum, right? Um, yeah. So I had to make, uh, that's where I actually learned how um, you could actually make a decision, like you dis distinguish a decision, like, um, you take that away from actually what you know at the moment. So that was like the first big lesson. Like even even though you don't see uh, the outcome, but if you know that you truly want it, you just decide. You decide regardless. So that was the first lesson for me, and I'm very very happy uh, for myself that I I took that decision and hopped onto the Quantum Leap family. Because ever since, like, uh, I really feel the change, like, daily, you know. Uh, the mm -hmm. quality, like, the quality of my life is just improving. I also see the improvement not only for myself. I see the improvement, like, with the people around me, uh, the family, friends, and then also the type of people who are coming into my life are people who actually um, also 
uh, vibing on the same level or at the very least that are, the, are here to pull me up even more. So uh, I'm just so grateful that this um, wisdom is like opening its doors uh, to me and I can also like act as a, as a catalyst for others who uh, could also like, let me see, draw inspiration out of like just my personal life experience. So yeah, there's like, there's a lot going on. So uh, yeah, that's just a, let me say, compilation of how uh, I've grown to where I am now mentally. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. And like you shared t today, you know, we, we had a little bit of contact before coming on right now and, uh, um, it, it was beautiful on how to read more in, on your bio that you sent me, um, that where you come from and, and that you right now have this special focus as well on, on kind of elevating the youth in the place that you are from. Could you maybe share yes. a bit about that as well? Yes. So I'm originally from Cameroon, uh, to be specific, the Southern Cameroon. Um, so Uh, to me, um, there is something very, very special um, about like where you come from, not necessarily me, but just in general, you know, um, once, uh, once you get into the journey of um, self mastery, then um, you cannot actually master yourself without knowing your roots. So for mm -hmm. me personally, that has always been something that has, let me say, It has always been hanging around the corner. And uh, mm -hmm. even if when you go to my Instagram, you see that sometimes when I when I go back, uh, when I go back home, I'll even go and visit my old schools because that brings up memories. And then the real lessons, uh, uh, which were actually like still in the shell, like just mm -hmm. by going back and watching those places, then everything starts uh, coming out. Yes, I know he's talking about the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, brother. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so for me, um, like just watching where I come from, uh, like um, to, for me personally, the way I also view life, uh, life is a movie that plays in our head, you know, in ter it's especially the past, like I always play the past and I'm watching this movie and I'm seeing what, what can I learn, like what were actually the lessons Where, mm. where, where do I intend to go? What do I intend to change? Uh, how can I serve um, other um, aspects of myself uh, that are like at the space where I was, uh, let me say 10, 15 years ago, even 20 years ago, you know? So um, um, speaking of Cameroon right now, uh, Southern Cameroon, like there, there's, there are, there's crisis going on also. And uh, like the youth, they have like, For the past two, three years, like the, um, the youth, they haven't even been having education due to the crisis. Like the, there's a lot of stuff going on in Cameroon, in the south of Cameroon. And um, yeah. yeah, so for me personally, this is something that is really, it, it, shakes, it shakes my being because uh, there I just, I just realized that where I am and where I come from, like I could actually make a difference. And when I say make a difference, I don't mean like I'm, I'm here to change something or, 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 or so, but to me, making a difference is like, hey, um, like when you look at your roots, like you're like, okay, this is where I come from. This is how stuff is over there, right? And this is where I am right now. This is what I have access to. So yeah. I just feel like I'm the bridge um, um, to like, let me say, build something where other people um can also let me see better their lives or elevate from you know because where i am is also thanks to other people's effort so mm -hmm. um when i see all these things happening i just feel like okay the thing the thing that i'm working on in terms of life and in terms of self elevation like um my inspiration is coming from all this pain that is down there so i'm just like um getting my I'm gonna say guns, but I'm just like readying myself for when that opportunity um, presents itself, so that I should also be able to contribute to the to the uh, to the growth uh, back of my origin and my people. Hi, Tui, how are you doing? <laughs> yes, that's just yes. a quantum leap family there. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> 
good to see you and thank you so much for sharing victor on on your um yeah on on maybe your roots and how if i understand it right how that can can be such a big part of the drive in your life to to really take everything that you you go through or every new lessons that cross your path to really kind of grab onto them and really mm -hmm. take all the lessons out of out of there as possible It's kind of it sounds like it, it also gives you this drive to really live fully and uh, not only well you've learned how to elevate yourself and your own businesses but this also probably is a drive to help people there and you there do that from now definitely. on now that you are growing definitely definitely because at the end of the day you know um everything is actually mindset like from all the things that i've learned in life um in mm. any situation like in any situation it really doesn't matter like how crazy this might actually sound in any situation there is always a lesson to be learned you know so for yeah. me personally like when i look at all these things that are happening like you know we are the, actually the creators of our own life so you make your story so it's for me just like okay grab the pen and uh, go in within yourself find the vision mm -hmm. or make the vision you know actually either you find it or you make it and then just start designing it and living it so that's how i'm looking at this because there are different ways of looking at this you can look at it in a way that is gonna like depress you and then bring you down or you could you could actually go deep and then find the drive within the situation to elevate uh, not only yourself but others around you as well so yeah that's the way i'm looking at it yes it's super inspiring and you've done a lot of things since creating your own vision or maybe you've had a clear vision your whole the whole of your life um could you maybe elaborate on that a little like how would you suggest for for people listening or today or later on um like what steps would you take when creating or when you know working out that vision how yeah. how can you really deepen into feeling that okay. drive yes so um in terms of like creating or finding vision so mm. the first thing that i would say is that um the place where you actually want to look is inside and what i mean by that is um yeah you just have to go within yourself um and that is like whatever you're looking for you are the question and you are the answer so everything is within you you just have to find a way to connect to your higher self right um mm. so that's that's the actual work because the way that i view life and and um this is also thanks to my mentor um the person who really really helped me um like to develop into the person that i am today it's my mentor sevan uh, bomar um yeah. actually like when when you look at everything like the whole the whole, the way that life is like you have you have actually two you have actually two way while well, we are living actually in the dual in the dualistic plane right so everything is dual you have black you have white you have up you have down um that actually uh one thing that uh like we don't actually well I'm not going to say we because I, I you know this I know that you know this but let's say mainstream media don't pay attention to is you have inside and you have outside and 99% of uh, most people's um uh, attention is always on the outside people are searching for answers like you know looking left and right but actually the thing is um you have to connect with the inside first because once you learn how to connect with the inside then your inside then becomes the catalyst because from there you you seek inside and anything that you create inside it will manifest on the outside so it's actually upside down so that's that's the first layer of um of um understanding as we call it that I would like yeah. to like just portray out the you know in when you want to go into this journey of vision because it's a vision a vision cannot be seen with your two eyes a vision is only going to be seen with your third eye and where's your third eye 
the third eye can also not be seen with this. It's internal, it's inside. So when you close your eyes, you go in and that's where your third eye is. And that's where you can find the vision, but you have to learn how to connect and to connect with it also. That's where everything starts with the breath work, with like deprogramming your mind and with like taking care of your body. It's a whole process. So yeah, but that's that just, let me say the layer, the layer to everything. Yeah, beautiful. And it's super inspiring. And I totally agree with you on how important it is, it is to kind of become aware of of you know um understanding that when you keep on focusing outwards to find solutions for anything that you deal with really it will probably get get you off of track even yes, faster definitely definitely turning inwards is where you need to be because all the answers it was so beautiful how you how you phrased it like you're the answer and you're the question and, and the answer right it's all inside yes um yes and I, I totally, totally see that. And I think that's, yeah, it's beautiful how you phrase it. And for everybody listening um, or on here today, you'll be even giving us some extra value by doing a short exercise with us. But maybe before we go into that, which will hopefully, well, probably sure, surely um, get us a bit more of a, a tangible tool on how to get into that inward space and um, to, towards your higher self. Um, do you have anything else you maybe like to share or anything that you would, you know, that you think would be a good starting point before we dive into that exercise? Okay, um, a good starting point maybe um, could be like just uh, some points of reference mm -hmm. and also um, not only points of reference, but also like um, the reason why we actually do things like breath work, right? Mm -hmm. And also some, let me see, resources like where you can learn more about this. By the way, I have uh, my, um, one of my uh, mentors on here watching, uh, Mr. George, Mr. Georgie. Um, I also learned a lot from this guy. So uh, if you guys see him here, go check him out. He has a lot of knowledge as well. Thanks for joining, brother. Um, so, yeah, um, point of reference. When it comes to uh, breath work, um, yeah. breathing is actually everything because breathing is the whole process of life. Like now I'm speaking from, uh, let me say, from my understanding at this point in life, right? So when I say breathing is everything, what I mean by that is like um, in the whole breath process, you have the full circle of life because when you're breathing in, um, you're connecting to source, right? And then the space be the, between you breathing in and breathing out, we call it the hold. That's where, um, let me say, all everything that you want to do or that you can do is being done. Right, that's where your manifestation is happening, and then yeah. the letting go or the breathing out is actually like let me see the process. I call it death, also because like you take in energy, you create, and you let it go. You know, because when you when you hold on to to a lot of energy, you're stuck. You can't move forward. So mm -hmm. to me personally, breath is, 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 is actually life cycle. There are different ways in viewing this, but to me, that makes a lot of sense. Um, and when it comes to, let me say, reference, like if you want to learn more about this, I'll say like you could, uh, yeah, you could tap me on, um, on Instagram or you could connect with us at Secret Energy um, to learn more about uh, breathing. I also trained with uh, Wim Hof. Uh, last year and um, yeah the Wim Hof method is one of the methods that I use uh, quite a lot um, al almost daily um, mm -hmm. and I think for those of you who are on my Instagram you guys probably see uh, me posting all this uh, retention results and things like that um, so with breathing you can actually program anything that you want in your life this is how I used breathing to uh, speed up my um, Achilles tendon injury, um, mm -hmm. like the healing process of it, because 
Last year, I ruptured my Achilles tendon and they told me, well, the doctor said it's going to take at least one year before I could even move without, <laughs> without crutches. I should I forget backflips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, should, I should forget backflips and things like that. And after three months, um, I could actually like start dancing and doing things. And that was because I was every day I was doing breath work and mm -hmm. also fueling fueling in the intention and the imagination of me um, speeding up the uh, healing mm -hmm. process. Yeah. yeah, so three people I can recommend. Um, Wim Hof, Sivan Bomar, uh, or Secret Energy, and uh, also Troy Casey, because uh, he has uh, some powerful stuff as well in terms of uh, breath work. And uh, also our sister Dudi from, if you, well, anybody who goes into Secret Energy, like there, like we just have a lot of amazing uh, souls there, like everybody with some special um, ability to share. And this is actually the thing that fuels uh, my personal growth as well. So, yeah. Beautiful. Thanks for sharing all that. Um, You're welcome. Yes. If, if you are ready um, for diving into the breath work exercise, take, uh, take us with you. I'm, I'm going to sit here and just join you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. So, um, yeah. So in terms of exercise, um, I'm just going to give a, a very short explanation um, on how to breathe. Um, the first thing is like when you're breathing, um, you want to actually let go um, of all worries and thoughts and, hey, I have to do this or I have this or that. So let go of all distractions. So it also means like um, you could actually also put your phone in silence and things like that, right? Mm -hmm. Um, also be mindful of your environment. Um, so if you're connected with nature, the better. Um, or just in a dark space, dark room where you, you can just be with, on your own and go inside to like really feel yourself. So there are different ways in approach. Like there is no wrong way. When it comes to you exploring yourself, there is no wrong way. Why? Because you are the captain of your ship, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is um we most of us what we do we breathe shallow so we do shallow breath so breathing like uh only through our chest like you know just breathing like very shallow uh yeah. but actually when you're doing breath work well depending also on what exercise you're doing and with what intention like it's a whole subject right but the way that i do it the thing that i do a lot is um just breathing um full body breath and pushing the air down to my stomach. So um, if someone is new to this, uh, what mm -hmm. you could visualize is you visualize your stomach like a balloon. Like when you're breathing in, the balloon is expanding. I don't know if you could see my hands uh, when I'm yes. doing that. Yes. Yeah, so when you're breathing, like the balloon is expanding. And when you breathe out, the balloon goes back in. So that's the yeah. basic, that's the basic uh, visual, visualization on that. Um, and then um, the next thing is, yeah, when you're starting, maybe you want to like uh, putting the time, the timer program. Uh, what I mean by that is like maybe you do um, 20 or 30 breaths with Wim Hof, we do 30 breaths. So you, br you breathe in and out uh, 30 times consciously. Mm -hmm. So not really rushing, not really slow, like you just feel your body, right? And with every breath, you are conscious. You're just conscious of the breath, like you breathe in and you breathe out. And mm -hmm. when you're breathing out, you're relaxing, you're breathing out into relaxation more, right? And then on the 30th breath, what you then do is you take in one big draw, like, you expand everything, push the breath everywhere. Like you push it to your brain, push it right down, like push it like everywhere. And then you breathe out, but you don't breathe out completely. So you breathe out like uh, one third or something. And then you mm -hmm. just stop, you just stop breathing. You just stop breathing. And then you just, um, let me see, feel in yourself. You just feel like, what, what are you feeling? You know? 
And the more you do this, well, in my case, actually, because I, I know other people have different experiences, but in my case, I feel like the energy flow with my body. So I could sometimes I could feel energy running this way. Sometimes I just feel energy running this way. So it's different for everybody. I've even had uh, stages where like I start to even see uh, shapes and patterns uh, within like, like in my mind. You know, um, and then I even forget time sometimes. And sometimes I feel my consciousness really going into one point. That's really scary, actually. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah, you just want to experience uh, with it and do it in a safe in a safe space also. And mm -hmm. uh, the last thing that I will say is uh, maybe get the Wim Hof app uh, to do this as well with it, because um, then you have that guidance and you have that that talk uh, that that's all that is guiding you in terms of like how you should be doing how you should be actually entering and, and exiting so that's let me see the explanation of what i'm gonna do right now so um because it's a video uh let me say i'll do uh, let me say 10 breaths just 10 conscious mm -hmm. breaths um just uh well let me say yeah two rounds two rounds because then it shows a full cycle um right. Yeah, and then, yeah, when we do that, um, I think you're going to do it as well, right? I will, I well? will just follow you. I will, I, I'm, I'm your, 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 you're my teacher now. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sitting wow. here doing breath with you, right? <laughs> okay, cool. So, this is so exciting. <laughs> so, when we do this, um, even if you finish before me when you feel like you need to draw you need to breathe back breathe back don't wait for me you know just just start breathing and then uh, uh till your second round and then when your second round after your retention then we're done you know uh because me normally when i do retention i could i could sometimes go to two three minutes um, and if i'm like really deep i could go to four five minutes but i'm yeah. gonna yeah it's a video so i'm gonna cut cut out the time so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we'll do the short version and that's that's all fine it's beautiful i'm grateful that you that you are here today sharing your wisdom with us and um yeah it may it help everybody and i'm just really excited to to have this extra class this afternoon thanks to you cool. yeah thank you for <laughs> inviting me as well like i'm also excited to share this um in this way because i've actually never done it this way uh so it's a uh, it's a nice experience and um yeah, before we actually start, there's one thing that I would like to um, just share. You know, yeah. in terms of in terms of uh, wisdom and things like this. Um, yeah, for me personally, um, I feel like it's our duty to share the things that we know or with other people, especially if it's to elevate people to our mm -hmm. um, to 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 the let me say to the level of experience that we are on or vibrations or even higher right mm -hmm. because that's where we start doing less friction that's where there's less friction because we uh, understand and understand each other so yes. yeah um it's like it's really an honor for me to like um to be called out and be like hey victor do some breath work with us so uh the honor is actually mine so thank you very much <laughs> Yeah, you're very welcome. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, so let's go. All right. Okay. Um, so it's the first time I'm going to do this and speak. So, wow. Okay. So the first thing, you just want to relax. Yes. Right? You close your eyes. So for anyone who is joining now, you can just, you can just um, uh, follow us. So you just close your eyes and you relax and then you stop thinking and just the only thing that you do right now is you follow the sound of my voice and you take in uh, one deep breath and you breathe out into relaxation. We're going to do this two more times. So we're taking one deep breath. Breathe out into relaxation. Last time you take in one deep breath. You breathe out and you relax even further. So 
So now we're going to breathe in and out for 10 times. And with each breath, you always imagine your stomach as a balloon expanding. And when you breathe out, it contracts back inside. So we're going to start now, 10 breaths. Last one, you breathe in deep, one big draw, and then you breathe out a little bit, and then you hold. Just relax. Even if you're thinking of something, just notice that it's not you. Those are thoughts just floating by. Don't feed it any energy. Just monitor how your body feels. Monitor how you're going deeper within yourself. Whenever you're ready, when your body asks for breath, you take in one deep breath and you hold for 15 seconds whenever you're ready. So hold for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and you let go. That's one cycle. Now we start with the second cycle, so 10 breaths. When you breathe in, you expand your belly. When you breathe out, you contract. Notice that the longer you do this, the deeper you go in. This is the real connection. This is where you find all the answers. This is how you reconnect with your ancestors. On the 10th one, you take one big draw. You breathe out a little bit and you hold. Whenever you're ready, take one draw for 15 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let go. And then you come back very gentle. 
Keep your eyes closed for a while. Just feel your body. Feel the room. Visualize within yourself where you are. See the room without opening your eyes. And then just have that sensation and that feeling that you are the God. You are the master of your own ship. You control your life. You control how you feel. You design your life. You are the middle of the Taurus field. You are the eye of the storm. Fill yourself with all positive energies. Fill yourself with confidence. Fill yourself with power to achieve anything where your intention is set upon. And once those programs are loaded, you gently open your eyes and you smile. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I cheated. I already opened my eyes. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, all, it's okay. It's all fine. I see Sister Ouija B is here from Tribe Wholeness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I also see Leon. Hey, Leon. Good that you're here. <laughs> how, how did you feel? Oh, it was amazing. I, um, I don't know if I ever shared this with you, but I do all types of alternative healing that I've been through myself for, for learning to heal myself from kinds of, all kinds of ailments. But um, this, is a, this is a form that I, I, I only know it combined, for example, with transcendental meditation or multidimensional meditation and traveling or, you know, all these spiritual kind of, pathways to really mm -hmm. go deep into yourself and to where um, your highest self may be. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a form, it's actually such a short and quick but beautiful tool. And um, I recognized that, uh, that I felt that it felt so good and that I was actually so happy to learn now, thanks to you, that I've actually done quite some practice now. I was able to kind of follow you and it made me feel happy but it took me like 12 years to to get here <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know whatever time it takes it's what is needed right um, yeah and at the, at the end of the day at the end of the day like once you start getting it then mm -hmm. you st then you have well everything that you need to go within you know yeah. and um, you say it took you 12 years well for me as well when i met my tribe like uh, when i met Savan bomar the first time when I was listening to the dude, it was like my head was hurting. Like, uh, like the message was so packed. Everything was so, you know, it, everything was so coded. And I was like, yo, I need to chill a little bit. Let me, <laughs> let, me, let me do something else and then come back yeah. when uh, like I'm a little bit like able to receive uh, stuff. Well. So, yeah, with the tribe, I've been, I've been connected with the tribe for, I think, yeah, since the resistance 2010. And um, I, I feel like I still need to start, like, you know, I still need to, my ship still has to, to, to lift off, you know, so that's just how I feel. But the thing is, there is just so much that we can learn uh, from ourselves. And I feel that this, um, like, the world we are in right now, um, there is a lot of distraction, you know, there's a lot of distraction going on mm -hmm. because... Um, one question that I always ask people um, that, I, that I have a conversation with them, I always say like, hey, imagine you had all the money that you needed in the world, right? Imagine you have money for yourself, you have money for maybe two, three, four, five uh, generations. Um, yes. like, like you have money, like money is not an issue. Mm -hmm. The first question, like, would you still be doing what you're doing today? If the answer is no, then you know what you need to do, you know? And the second thing is like, what will you be doing then? Mm -hmm. You know, I hear everybody's like, people are like, I'll do real estate. I'll do, I say, no, no, all those answers, you know, if you're doing real estate and this and that, it's all 
for money purposes, right? Like you're doing business is all nice. But the way that I see it is like, hey, for me personally, like when money, like it's just a matter of when, right? That's how I see it. When money is not an issue anymore, I'm going 100% full time into self elevation because to me, self elevation is everything. Like yes. self elevation, self mastery, learning breathing techniques, learn, learning how to, to, to fast in different ways, meeting new people, like just living life, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, actually, like the more, like the more I meet beautiful souls, like the more I meet people, uh, like Savan Bomar, like uh, the, the new, the new brother that I just met, who is like a crazy surfer. Like even this afternoon, I connected with another tribe member who is like uh, he was like with Cirque du Soleil. Like you just see that there is so much beauty around us. But first of all, we need to learn how to um, look in terms of beauty, you know, because. The way the world is, we are being projected with a lot of negativity. So mm -hmm. we are actually babies, you know. And if you don't have the right code, like life will always program you. But if you have the like the, the right code, then mm -hmm. you know how to navigate in the matrix. Then you know how to be Neo in the matrix, right? So yeah. I feel I really feel like hey, um, uh, the tribe and Sivan Bomar, like I keep talking about him because like this dude like he really changed my life and uh mm -hmm. yeah so i'm on i'm on a mission to share this as well and speaking of the devil i was talking about one brother he just hopped on what's up dude mr handstand <laughs> alchemist <laughs> yeah and you know what is so beautiful i see somebody even saying come on and do meditation with us on wednesday and yeah that's just... from that's from our tribe that's sister wedgie uh, sister wedgie and she's she also she's also packed with knowledge like the yeah i know like i'm most of the time i'm like, like on the background but uh, now she's like yeah i see you come do meditation you know <laughs> <laughs> for real i just wanted to give you this to to round off today's session together i, I just wanted to give you or, or, or kind of express to you how um, how special I thought uh, you being a teacher in meditation was because I could really feel the depth of your um, knowledge and wisdom, but also the, the the calm that you kind of brought with you just doing this. Like it was me asking you to do this, but you know you were just maybe freestyling. But you, I could really. I could see how how amazing you are as a teacher in this as well, like such a multi potential as we talked about before. And I'm I'm so <laughs> that you shared this. Um, thank you, thank you for doing this because you're amazing, really. You guys all honor me. Thank you. Like I have, I'm surrounded by beautiful souls, so I learn I learn from them. So thank you very much. And yes, Sister Wigi, like our love, I really really love to do this with the tribe as well. Yes. Yes. Good. Is there anything I'll, that you want to round off with today? Do you have anything to, to say or, or ask me or, you know, how, yes. how, should we, how could we give this last bit of elevation to everybody watching? Yes. So uh, what I would like to ask you is I would like to ask you to just also share a little bit about yourself because I see there are a lot of people um, who are coming up here like from my uh, Instagram as well. And uh, yeah, of course, it's not about me, but it's about us, right? So mm -hmm. I would like you to share some of your uniqueness uh, so that uh, other people can also connect with you because I'm going to also post this video on my uh, IGTV. So it would be nice that uh, the people who, are, who know me can also know a little bit more about you. So uh, do you have mm -hmm. like something that you can share like just to uh, round this up about your yourself and your uniqueness? Well, thank you for, for giving me this opportunity that um, what I can share a bit maybe for, for people that don't know me yet or, or have never met me before. Um, I am, uh, well, I, I kind of resonate with you being a multipotential and loving to have this creative mind, I think. Yes. Or not over here. <laughs> uh, and... Um, I, I do so many things that I sometimes don't have the time for it, but uh, it is mostly about helping people kind of unleash their powerful colors. And as I see that from within outwards mm -hmm. to help 
and I, I love, I really, how do you say that? Um, I kind of turn on in, in a sense of um, awaken and, and really get big smiles when I, when I get, um, get in touch with people that I am in some way able to kind of help them, lift them to new levels of, mm -hmm. of you know, uh, healing of in their businesses. I, I tend to help entrepreneurs, um, mostly high achievers, and most of them are pretty sensitive and creative people. Um, and uh, hey, <laughs> thanks. Um, and um, I love to work with them, and I love to work with parents and children, as I have worked with with them for over twelve to sixteen years. Um, yeah, I think that's that's something to round off with, but because. I am more looking for something that we could give the listeners right now. Mm -hmm. Is there maybe a one-liner or a quote that you love or your motto? How, how would you? <laughs> a quote that? that I love. Uh, for me, the one of the biggest uh, quotes, um, there's, there are a lot, right? But I think uh, the best quote uh, to unlock everything in terms yeah. of like shutter all the uh, little codes or programs that have been running through our DNA is all itself. You know, mm. everything is self, like um, self motivation, self elevation. Every anything that you do, it's all from within. So the mm. only difference is either you're aware of it or either you're man manipulated. So you want to um, awake to a level where you are in control of yourself. And uh, when I say uh, you are manipulated, I, it's not always external because like, yes, the environment can um, like has programs, tons of programs to program us. But hey, mm -hmm. even, when we, even when we were born, we were born with an internal program. So the voices in our head, like the ego, that's also a program uh, mm -hmm. that is not us. So because we even hear what we are thinking, uh, it means that we have to ask ourselves, who are we actually, right? Because we are not, um, we are not our, we are not like I'm not Victor. I'm more than Victor. I was some, I was something or someone else before I was given the name. I was something or someone else before I was conceived or before I came into this plane. So, mm -hmm. uh, with that being said, all is self. So that's something uh, you guys can think and meditate on and. Uh, find the truth in and if you want to know more about that like hey connect with us with me or with feeling so wholeness thank you beautiful thank you so much Victor. i had an yes. amazing time with you here and i'm wishing you a beautiful evening and uh thanks everyone for being here um yes i'll i'll leave a, a link towards your um uh, your instagram on uh, social medias and uh I yes, hope to likewise. see you soon. <laughs> yes, definitely. I also had a blast. It was a nice. This is something actually nice, and I would love to do more of this. So I think uh, in the future, we can bring more uh, more creative projects to help other people. And uh, yeah. maybe next time we're going to be technically ready. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Still, well, right. thank you, and uh, have a nice, nice time. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thanks for being here.